Look at all. This is what we strive for, guys. The black marks, the scuff marks, the... Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Welcome to another From the Fire Rescue. So, uh, I had a friend. If you haven't seen a previous video, my previous video that I did, uh, I had a friend that was had a fire pit. Sorry about the crowing. <laughs> there may be crowing in this video, so if you hear it, it's not in your backyard, it's in mine. <laughs> Uh, so in a previous video, I had told the story how one of my friends was having a, uh, creating a pile for a fire pit and, and, uh, was going to burn up a bunch of stuff, uh, leaves and branches and stuff evidently that he thought was throw away. And I saw some spindles on the back of an old chair, chair was broken, but I saw spindles and I'm like, do you mind if I take my sawzall and go over and get the, grab those spindles? And while I was in there digging around, I found that he had a rolling cart and I'll link that here and down in the description. You can take a look at that. I did a makeover on that in my last video and uh, I did the rolling cart up and now, and I had rescued this as well. So this is a wooden, an old wooden box. I'm assuming a toolbox of some sort. It's got a nice domed lid on it. Right. It's got awesome old hardware. It's got the square nails with the flat heads on them in the bottom, uh, a lot of smaller nails in the top and a few old screws. Um, it's, it's like it's old and it's been through it. You can really tell it's been through it. I want to try and keep the uh, stained rustic look on this i think uh, that would be the best thing to do with it um i could paint it i may have to if i can't fix it so that it looks halfway decent uh paint covers a lot of boo-boos and things um, all the chickens hear me out here so they're coming to investigate a lot of work to be done on this it's got pieces like this one's busted out of the top of the of the a lid and it's got a couple of the corners that the uh, corners are coming apart so I have my glue I have my hammer I have some little tiny brown nails those work perfect for these types of projects because they don't pop out you don't have to try and rust them and make them look like they're just little tiny brown nails so they go in and they blend right in and make sure maybe it will look fine just cleaned up and maybe give it an oil the top probably I should probably do something with I'm gonna have to find some new hinges for this because the hinges that they used were just these teeny tiny little hinges and I'm pretty sure that was just too much for them to hold this lid and with it opening and closing a lot um, so I don't think that worked out very well but I'm gonna have to find something a little more sturdier for those and I also have some black wrought iron legs the uh what do they call them the hairpin legs that i want to put on this i can't remember how tall they are eight inches i could be wrong but i'll show them to i you. need to get started on this welcome to a uh, cloudy rainy day i woke up and the sun was shining brightly and um, beautiful blue sky and the birds are singing the leaves are popping i don't know if you can see those behind me it is spring in Maine beautiful and I love those kind of uh, weather reports that tell you oh it's gonna be crap and you're not gonna like it and this is I'll take this if this is a crappy day <laughs> so since this is right on top we're gonna work on this it's missing a piece here luckily I was able to find it and what I need to do is either nail in or pull out any of the nails that are sticking up so that I can get this to lay flat.
and make sure I have it on correctly. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put a little glue on there to help hold it. I probably should get my clamps. I'm gonna go do that real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is put some glue on the spot just to help hold that down. It's a little warped. The wood is old. Put that on. All right, this is one side. There. Okay, let that sit for a few minutes and uh, let that glue do its thing, and then I'll take the clamps off. Okay, this is a side, and it's supposed to look like this side over here. It's supposed to be standing up, and this joint is supposed to go into here. Uh, and it's just flopped over. Because they had the small little hinges on here, I think, it just um, couldn't handle it. So... It's hung on by a few of these old, old nails that are in here. I'm going to have to just pop this right off and get the nails all out and start fresh. I'll re-glue and pop them back in and then nail it so that it uh, stays together. And is a little stronger because it's going to have hinges on this back side. So it's going to need to be a little bit stronger. how a little bit of glue and a few nails sturdy something up so much. This thing was falling apart and I didn't even want to touch it because I was afraid that it would fall apart more. But it is so sturdy now that it's just such a difference. It's so amazing. I want to get the old screws if I can out of the uh, places where the hinges were that part for now because they won't come out the brass ones that somebody replaced them with came out just fine but there are four like i don't know just steel metal screws that don't want to come out so we're gonna just move on from there
Now the last thing is this bottom, this is the bottom and it's got a crack in it. I think you can see that. Yeah, so it's got a crack there. It's loose, but I don't want to take it off if I don't have to. But I love these, these square nails that are in there. Those are awesome. So what I'm going to do is just take my little nails and try and secure it together. It's a little bit loose. Just try and tighten it up a little bit. I don't necessarily want to repair it. Um, just make it tight so it doesn't lose any more pieces, crack any more, break. So on three of the corners on the bottom, there's these little metal caps and it's missing the one up here. It doesn't, I don't even know if it ever had one. I don't even see where, maybe they only had three. Those are nice and rusty. Holy moly, those are rusty. I like to get one side wet to see what it would look like if I put some oil on it, some hemp oil or something to preserve it a little bit better. I like this, but it's so dry that you can tell it's so thirsty. And um, I'm wondering if I wanna add some hemp oil so that it looks like this. This side would look like this. I don't really want to paint it. I know you, some people would look at this and go, oh gosh, why don't you just paint it? But it's old, it's original for the most part. I may just leave it the way it is, but it's awful dry. And when you get it wet and wipe it back, look at all, this is what we strive for guys. The black marks, the scuff marks, the, the scrapes, the dings, all that stuff. And you can't see them as well over here. But when you get it wet, see all of everything there? This is telling, this is telling the story. This is telling its story. People have st stood on it and banged it and moved it and put tools on it. And you can see all of that history right here. You can see it all. So there we go. She's put together without, I don't have the, uh, the hinges yet. I don't have the hinges yet, but I'm going to get some. I need to get some older looking ones or make them look old, rusty them up or something. Um, but she's together. The lid's on. It's sturdy. It's a fabulous little box that would have burned up if I hadn't just gone and rescued it. This is just hemp oil from Fusion. And I got very little left, so I'm going to have to make a flying trip down to the place where I usually buy it and see if they have a bigger bottle.
because I don't even know if I had a full bottle of this if it would do it. It usually goes a long way, but this is so thirsty, I'm telling you. Crazy. Just gives it a little bit of deepness in the color and brings out all the little blemishes and burns and um, uh, the nail, you know, where the nails bleed out, make those little black spots, makes those pop even more. See, they're over here too, but you can't see them until I start cleaning, you know, putting that on there. So, and this top is amazing. Look at all those scuffs. Totally amazing. Okay, so finally, here are the legs that I'm going to put on the bottom. They go in the corner here, like this. Now I'm going to take these six by six pieces of wood and put them inside on the bottom and screw those in so that when this goes in, it has more to hold on to because it's only like a very thin, probably half inch piece of wood there, maybe, maybe uh, not quite strong enough to hold these legs on, you know, if it's moving and sliding around. I think these pine boards will be enough to, to uh, hold those together. So give it some support. So I'm gonna put these in first. Right about there. I'm just gonna get a screw started. It's gone through, has it? Okay, so how I got that measurement for these, by the way, is I put this up here 
and measured how far I needed to go this way and that way. It was six inches both ways, so I just made a six by six block. I could have done, you know, cut it off and made a triangle and done all the things, but it's inside the box. Nobody's going to see it except for somebody that buys it, and hopefully they're going to want to put blankets and stuff in it, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. So it's kind of got a triangle shape, so I'm going to try to put this in. and hold it at the same time. Okay, well here it is in all its glory with its legs on, standing up. It's an awesome height. It's about, let's see, it's a, just above my knee. So those are fantastic legs. They're nice and sturdy thick. We're just out on my deck because I didn't want to have to, it's getting dark here and I thought it would look better outside, but this is still a little bit iffy. I may take something, some strips, and put them inside here. And let's see if I can get that to lay down. There we go. So yeah, this is still moving quite a bit. So I think I may take some strips and put them in there and just stain them. So it kind of, I mean, it's not gonna match perfectly, obviously, but just to hold that in case somebody set something on it. I'm afraid it will just pop it right back out. But it is glued on both ends. The only other thing I need to do is I need to zip these screws off. There's three on either side from my um, hinges that I bought. Then you can see the blocks inside. So that's okay, but it closes nice. That's going to be beautiful in somebody's house that has room for it. If I had room, I'd probably keep it and use it to display in. This would be great open, which is how I'm going to display it in my booth. You'll see it because I'm going to show you guys. But I think it's going to be open. I may put some chains or something to help hold it open. And it won't flop over because these hinges will just let it go right over. And I don't want those to break again but um blankets this is like a blanket chest or a toolbox but you can use this to display old crocs uh some greenery in there so i hope you guys like this this makeover this it's not even a makeover really i didn't make it over i just restored it this restoration i added legs added a handle added some more heavy duty hinges. So um, this thing I think is gonna live to see another day. And I'm so excited that this is gonna be loved by someone. I know it will because I'm just, I just love it. Completely love it. I mean, look at those handles, just awesome. And the darkness around them. I mean, that's exactly what we try to do when we try to replicate that stuff is give it all these little these little spots. So it's just amazing to see it in, you know, it's just amazing. <laughs> I just love it, I just love it. These uh, corners are terrific. And this doesn't quite sit flat, but I guess it will eventually, it will relax a little bit. But I love it with the feet on it. Um, this is going to be a great piece in someone's home. I can't wait for somebody to love it as much as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments if you would have restored it, if you would have painted it, what you would have done with it, if you would have left it in the burn pile. 
So don't forget, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And check down in the description for any links that I have for anything that I can link down there for you to help you do your own restorations. I'll do the pin, the hairpin legs from Amazon. That's where I got them. I'll put a link in there for those if you're interested. And have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the next one on your screen. I know you're going to love it.